Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. In today's video, we are going to talk about the new ship speed changes and dynamics between the ships within Sea of Thieves. I jumped into a custom server with some pirate legends and tested out a lot of these scenarios to get a real perspective of what these changes mean for us pirates. That being said, let's get into it. Since the beginning of Sea of Thieves, the three ships have not been perfectly balanced within the game. We all know that the brig was very overpowered almost in every single way. Before the most recent update with the ship speeds, I jumped in and recorded what this looked like previously so we could see the differences with how it looks like now. First, let's talk about going into the wind. Previously, with the old ship speeds, the brig matched the sloop and the galleon was the slowest. This made it difficult for sloops to get away from a brig going into the wind, making it very challenging for players to stay alive against those sweaty brigs. With full tailwind, the brig was significantly faster than the sloop and slightly faster than the galleon. The same thing could be said for sidewind. The brig was the clear winner, followed by the galleon, and in very far behind, the sloop was way back there. Needless to say, the boats didn't feel very even, with the brig coming out on top as the clear winner. However, everything has changed. In the latest update for Sea of Thieves, we have had the very first ever change to ship speed. Also, the sloop no longer benefits from what we called the dummy sails, making it more intuitive for players sailing their boat. From our tests with different wind speeds, we have discovered that the sloop is now a competitor in almost all scenarios. The galleon is the top dog when it comes to the speed, and the brig is smack in the middle when using the wind. First, let's talk tailwind. The galleon is the winner here, followed by the brig, which we figured would be the case. However, what was surprising was the sloop wasn't being absolutely crushed like it was previously. It stayed relevant, at least for a little bit. The same could be said with Sidewind as well. The galleon was again the fastest, followed by the brig with the sloop in last. Where things got really interesting was going directly into the wind. The advantage went to the sloop, but not by a huge margin, while the galleon actually was second fastest going into the wind followed by the brig being in last. What this means is, with the current speed changes within the seas, the brig is second fastest with wind, but slowest against the wind. Another factor we are interested in was going with wind is it seems like the speed of the boats is determined on how many sails you have. For example, with the brig having two sails, we did a test with them only having one sail down compared to the sloop, and it looks like the sloop and the brig matched in speed. When the brig dropped their second sail, they started again on the sloop again. The same thing was observed on the galleon. With the brig and the galleon only having two sails, the ship seemed to match in speed. We also made another observation. With wind, a brig versus sloop historically would mean going into the wind was a death sentence. However, if the brig is not managing their sails well, the sloop can gain on the brig using wind. Additionally, in a scenario like this, if the sloop manages to knock the mast down on the brig, which only takes one chain shot, the sloop can gain a pretty significant distance from the brig. All this to say, from our tests, it appears every boat is now more balanced with each boat having their own slight advantage. Galleon, though the fastest, requires the most coordination and has the widest turn radius, meaning if they don't manage their sails well enough, they will get left behind, or in this case, they may ram a rock. The sloop's advantage is going into the wind without dummy sails, but still can remain competitive going with wind in both tailwind and crosswind scenarios, which is huge. Also, another thing we noticed was the sloop does appear to have a much faster acceleration at the very beginning when we would drop the sails. The ship that has seen the biggest nerf is the brig. The brig is no longer fastest with wind or with side wind. 
And when it comes to going into the wind, it is now the slowest of all boats. Though it could be said possibly that its advantage is that it is in the middle of the road with speed and turn radius. So though it is not the fastest, it can still catch a sloop with wind and has more cannons. I'm excited. I think these changes are good and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play out in the seas. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And here for your own viewing pleasure is the full recordings of each of the tests that we did so that you can see them for yourself. Much love and here's those recordings. So the first thing we wanted to test was the new speed with tailwind. That is wind coming directly from behind you. The thing we noticed right away was the sloop wasn't getting left behind. It was staying very, very competitive, like I said previously, which was really cool to see. This means that in fights or in chases or whatever kind of scenarios you're running into in the seas, the sloop can always compete, at least close enough to possibly make a move, which is fantastic. So yeah, this is where the galleon starts to pull away and as the, the brig also starts to pull away. But it's not as significant as it was pre-update. So this was really cool to see. The next thing that we tested was this theory that we kind of saw in our test, which was speed for ships is based on sail count. So what we did was me and the brig, we just dropped one sail and wanted to see if we matched in our speeds. And I mean, I don't know the exact scientific speed, like specifics, but from what we saw and from what we observed, it seemed like that was the case with one sail down on the brig they matched the speed of the sloop going directly with wind as soon as they dropped the second sail they started to catch but the big key difference here is that unlike previously the brig would overpower the sloop in a very fast way it was a slow gradual uh increase so it wasn't as significant as before which was pretty cool to see. As soon as they took away that front sail, the sloop started to match the speed again. So this was a really cool test to see. We also did it over, like I said, on the galleon. And if the galleon had two sails down and the brig had their two sails down, they matched with the speed too. Now this test was the boats going directly into the wind. Now, like I've said, the thing that we noticed kind of right away with the new sloop is, or at least the new sloop speeds, is the initial takeoff on the sloop, the acceleration is very quick. Now the surprising thing here was it wasn't a huge speed difference between the sloop and the other boats, but you could slowly gain similar to how it was with Tailwind on the other boats. So as long as the sloop is not using dummy sails, you can definitely run away from a brig and a galleon. Though I will say the galleon does beat out the brig, which was, I don't know why that is, but that is exactly how it works. The, the brig is slower than the galleon going directly into the wind, which is opposite of what we're used to. At one point, I did decide to test the dummy sails, 
and the boats started to kind of beat me out again. So here's testing the new dummy sails. And it's kind of hard to tell, but you do start to slow down a little bit. Now, one thing I would like to say is I would have preferred the sloop to have a little bit more of an advantage running into the wind so that you could get away from these bigger boats a little bit faster. But at the end of the day, I think I'm okay with how it is currently because what this means is it's more about sail management than it is what boat you're on. Now this test is with Sidewind and this one, this test was a little bit messy. We messed up a little bit, but as you can see, again, the sloop's takeoff is really, really quick. We did have a little bit of a bump there. It happens in tests, but here we go. We're setting sail, Sidewind, we're zooming. The galleon's taken off. Uh, it's got those three sails, so it's going much faster than the sloop. We're adjusting a little bit here. We're going to turn the boats again to kind of keep that side wind. Um, but you'll see these boats start to kind of take off in their speeds, which is interesting. So once we recorrected for side wind and we just sailed for a little bit, the galleon started to take the lead and then the brig started to pass the sloop. Oh, and at one point I did hit kegs. One of the things that I loved seeing with this though, is even though we're using side wind and these boats historically have been significantly faster than the sloop, again, it's not so different now. So the sloop is still a competitor between these larger boats, which is fantastic to see. Oh, here's the keg. So yeah. That's fun. We kept with our test because I still kept side when, and I just ended up going down and repairing. But here you can really see the difference. So the galleon is in the lead, followed by the brig, and then the sloop is behind. But I am still just so shocked to see that the difference was not as crazy as it was once before. Now in this scenario, I wanted to kind of test this idea of a boat, the, the bigger boats chasing the sloop. Um, and we had the crews on the other boats kind of not manage their sails as perfectly as they could. This was not necessarily intentional, but it did work out for our favor in the test because this is showing you that if a boat isn't managing their sails well, then a sloop, which has only one sail and is easier to manage, gains pretty good ground on the larger boats. 